You're watching Blowout TV. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. Click on the subscribe button and the bell beside it. This will notify you once we drop a new video. Thank you. International sensational singer Beyonce's latest video, Black is King, has captured the heart of many Africans, particularly Nigerians. Not only was the 38 year old able to impress many with her effortless demonstration of the famous Nigerian dance known as Zanku, she also captured the attention of viewers with her choice of costume that interpreted that of an African woman. In the video, the sexy mother of three was seen wearing a lovely pink gele just like an African Nigerian mother would do. After so much research, it was learned that a woman from Nigeria, the Uba to be precise, known as Azizat Abiola Musat, was appointed by the musician to tie Gele to her and her cast in her latest official music video, Black is King. Azizat Abiola Musat, who is 41 year old, is a Nigerian born philosopher and makeup artist based in the United States of America. She's from Lagos State. She is the first born out of the seven children her parents gave birth to. Education for her began at the police children's school in Ikeja, Lagos State. Afterwards, she moved to Lagos State Model College, Badure, for her secondary school education. Before graduating from Lagos State University, Unilag, where she earned her bachelor's degree in philosophy, she was required to serve one year at the National Youth Service Corps in Kaduna and spent one year at the Nigerian Defense Academy in Kaduna briefly after her youth service. She was recruited and served as a physiologist and chancellor with the army. All through her stay in Kaduna, the mother of two beautiful children also won the visa lottery in the United States of America in 2008. She started working as a caregiver when she wanted to join President Donald Trump's country and later went to nursing school. She later got the job with Vitals Healthcare and obtained training as a hospice nurse. She has been with the organization for 10 years by God's grace. Bella is an extremely hardworking girl and also enjoys fashion. Azizat had the body from Nigeria in 2013 to deliver her baby to America and she met her at a friend's house and they spoke. As a smart woman during their chats, she discovered that the lady at the fashion store and school where she was teaching people how to tie gilly and make up in Nigeria. The lady trained her for two weeks and she had two apprenticeships but most of the time, when she returned from work at midnight, she easily joined the class. Amsad was so committed to learning about it. The main reason she ventured into Gilly's art, as we were told, was because she was humiliated at an event where she saw a lady tie the guest Gilly, and she was so disrespectful to the people because she had no manners. Azizat was very passionate and told herself that she could make more money from this by providing a good customer service, by treating people well, and by being humbled. The rest is history. She won five awards from her Gilly tying business to her credit. She's met and worked for a lot of Hollywood and Hollywood stars. Every February, she visits the Black History Month, and people are always looking forward to seeing her bonding at Gilly. The mayor of LA recognizes and cherishes her work as well. She has displayed her artwork Gilly with the UCLA Museum and has displayed it in New York Broadway. This art Abiola Musat is so successful in the business that it has gained recognition from Google. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, kindly comment, and share. Thank you, Boya TV.